things people want to know from healthcare providers and or nurses. And they, there's only one place on the planet, in the ether of the world of the universe, where you can get these questions and the honest, truthful answers. And that is Reddit. And I love Reddit because just because of the anonymity, you can be as honest as you want. All right. So here we go with the first of the week. So this is coming off of this story where the mom has decided some home remedies. The question of this week on Reddit that I found to healthcare providers and nurses specific was what has been the worst advice you have overheard, been around, gotten from a family member, from a patient, from a doctor, from anyone. And here are my five picks of the day. So number one, Kelly's, Kelly Trees. She says, I was interning at a hospital and observing a pap smear of a 16-year-old girl when the doctor said she had a yeast infection. The mother who was in the room at the time told the girl to just soak in bleach. Oh my God. When the doctor explained to the mother why this was bad, she refused to listen and got super upset. So we left them and went to lunch. This is absolutely insane this is beyond insanity uh, this is just scary and it sounds super painful i don't ow i mean bleach is like on the bottle it says not to put on skin you're supposed to wear gloves when you use bleach and you're saying to bleach your vaginal area because you got a yeast infection and bleach oh oh the world is crazy the world is absolutely nuts. All right, number two, moving on. Dallas Green says, paramedic and CPR instructor here. I was teaching CPR to a room full of cops and we were talking about AED use. After I finished, the lieutenant comes to the front and explains to his officers that each police issued taser can be used in place of an AED by shocking directly over the heart. Oh, what med school did this cop go to? What, what, how insane is this? I was dumbfounded. I quickly told everyone that was not true and act could um, and the act could get them in a lot of trouble. The lieutenant was visibly mad and I corrected him in front of everyone and he ended up calling my supervisor. Well, by all means, brother, call the damn supervisor. But that is some advice that should never, ever, 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 ever be used. Those tasers are not the same as an AED and having one taser versus the two patches of the AEDs, I, I'm not an electrician, okay? I'm a nurse and what I do know is a patch where you get an AED shock is definitely, absolutely far, far from getting a shock from a taser. That's like telling someone, yeah, if you have a, a heart attack or if, you, you, if your heart stops beating, just get a fork and stick it into the goddamn uh, pu plug. Get out of here. This is insane. Number three, not so much advice. Uh, I'm sorry, Sam Neal says, not so much advice, but I had a patient who was having an asthma attack. We arrived at the house. She was smoking a cigarette, <laughs> per use. I try not to be a dick to people, but I explained to her, the next time she's having an asthma attack, smoking might not be the best idea. Her response was epic, my favorite part. She says, nah, it's all good. I switched to menthol. <laughs> well, congratulations. Congratulations. So instead of your inhaler, might as well just grab a menthol and smoke that. A asthma attack in the midst of the EMTs, the paramedics, whoever is on the way to the house. While having the asthma attack, the lady picks up a menthol cigarette and starts smoking. You can't. This is why I love nursing. You can't make this up. It's just insane. Number four, and this is, I don't know if it's deleted is the patient person's actual name or the, 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 um, user's name just got deleted, but she says, school nurse here, so people automatically assume I am an idiot. I'm sorry, not this nurse. I don't. I actually hope to be a school nurse one day. I had someone to tell me that insulin makes the sugar go up. All right. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. And it's just like that in some people, I've also been told that it's best to keep drinking diet sodas because stopping abruptly can make you very sick. I have heard that before. My doctor told me I need to drink diet cokes or I may end up in the hospital and don't get me started on the um, best treatments for lice. By the way, don't put gasoline on a child's hair. That is scary. That is absolutely nuts. Please. Please, 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 never put gasoline in a child's hair, number one. Number two, are you serious? Insulin makes your sugar go up. 
I've never, I have yet in the history of uh, nursing school, being a nurse, never once have I seen that, heard that, been a witness of that. That's craziness. That's craziness. I love it. I love it. This is WebMD galore. <clears throat> and last but not least, number five, I want to lick it. I like that name. I like that name. Paramedic here. This isn't really a health tip I've heard, but rather witnessed if I respond to a seizure call or an unresponsive party, about one in 10 will have a bag of frozen veggies in their pants. For some reason, the people in the city I serve think frozen vegetables will fix anything. <laughs> this is great. I love this. I love this. I mean, I don't know. Being an athlete, I use frozen vegetables for every bump, every bruise. So I can kind of understand it. But if someone has a heart attack, <laughs> it, it, just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I would love, love to see the uh, the, uh, the research, the evidence-based practice of putting some ice in someone's pants when someone's unresponsive, has a seizure, all of this stuff. Maybe I can see if you're having a seizure, a lot of seizures are caused because of high temperatures, and that happens in children quite a bit. So this, it, that, there could be some signs behind this, but in your pants for every seizure for every unresponsive i don't know i think it's crazy but i love it and that my friends is the uh, questions for nurses via reddit and i love that segment always a fun thing to talk about and we will be doing that weekly we'll just keep that up all right